I just want to say thank you to everybody for taking the time to come and join us. We hope to hope to be able to answer your questions about this uh, mindset maps uh, coach, uh, you know, professional coach certification. Yeah, well, welcome to everybody. And um, I think we wanted to kind of start with um, just showing you, you know, some of you may have seen this before, you know, what, what the inventor is, but we actually wanted to start by, you know, reminding everybody um, what this is. And so I think I'm going to share screens here. And yeah, we have a presentation and a few questions already. Um, yeah, which we, we have received from a number of people here. Um, do, you, do you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. All right, excellent. So starting with, you know, the coach certification program and then, you know, just starting with this definition of what this is and, you know, it's an assessment and development tool which helps people better understand their own mindset and also to make some key adjustments necessary in order to reach both important business but also life goals. Yeah, so this is this is the this is this tool that we have developed that um, is is something that people can use. You can go up online. There's a part of it that is that it's free, um, uh, but then there's another part where we you can get a uh, a premium report and also where we will will be directing people towards coaches. Or if you are a coach, you, there's a, we'll explain how you can get a special uh, code. And, and the link, and you can use this uh, and, and follow your own clients. So, you know, here we say it helps people to better understand their own mindset and make key adjustments. So what that means is if there's an adjustment, clearly there is a present state of your mindset, and then there is a goal that you might have, and then there is an ideal mindset. And so this ideal mindset in the system, it comes from our research. And that's what uh, we are comparing your present mindset to. And that's what allows us to then recommend adjustments. And in terms of adjustments, we actually have 50 tools built into this system. So, you know, I want to kind of move on to the next question. Okay, so why should you even consider becoming a professional mindset map coach? And, you know, this slide is looking at things from more like a, a coach perspective. But we do want to mention that people, when we say this tool helps people to get a better idea about their mindset, we mean different types of people. So we mean coaches and consultants, organizational development consultants, but we also mean HR professionals, and we mean very much entrepreneurs and leaders. So when we go through these three points here, you know, this is kind of coming from the coach's perspective, but we, we might allude a little bit to those other people as well. And the main things, the reasons why is, is it's, a, it's a really, if you, and I'm assuming that hopefully most of you have already been up there and tried it, but it, it's a very powerful tool that helps to, as we say, on the one hand, demystify mindset, but also to go deeper with clients. I think it really is a, gives a, offers a really good starting point and, and gives really, uh, you know, important distinctions for clients to work with, especially if they are, you know, working to uh, either build a business or take their current venture to a new level. And what we understand is, you know, globally on the market, there isn't really a tool today that speaks specifically to mindset. So at the same time, I don't know what you find, but myself as a, as a coach, but also as a consultant working with really large companies and sometimes working uh, with small and medium-sized companies as a coach, you know, everybody is interested in mindset. Everybody knows that attitude is paramount in performance, but no one really has a tool to work with it. So, you know, they say, you got to hire people for attitude because it's unchangeable. And interestingly, what we have found in our work is that it's not really true, right? Because your attitude is probably a function of your mindset. But how do you understand your mindset? And that's where this mindset tool comes in. 
And that's why we believe that it is actually a great differentiator for someone who is in this space because you can make the intangible tangible. You can measure at the beginning of the coaching process. You can measure in the middle of the coaching process. You can measure at the end of the coaching process and you can prove. And again, I don't know about you, but for me, one of the biggest questions that I always get as a coach from you know, the CEO or the director or the HR director is, how do you prove to me that what you're doing is, is, is effective? Like, prove it to me. And that's where we coaches began to sweat because we know that vision is paramount and purpose is paramount and passion is paramount. But how do you show it in a tangible way to someone who speaks a little bit of a different language than you? Well, now we have the map. Yeah. So, so what Mickey was saying before, you know, who, sh who, who should certify and why, and, and we, we said, of course, there's coaches, but uh, we find that this is a useful tool that we use in consulting. In fact, Sorry. our generative consulting book um, gives a number of examples of how the mindset map was used in consulting, but also for HR professionals and, and business leaders. And, you know, the next slide is sort of building on this idea that, you know, you could use this in individual coaching, defining the starting point, defining the end point, defining the key milestones and be able to measure. You could yeah. also use it in team coaching where, you know, let's say the question is, is the team on the same page? Do we all have the same mindset? Are we going to the same direction? But you could also use it in talent development work where, you know, let's say I'm an HR professional and I'm supposed to coach internally or help people to get somewhere. Again, I can map their mindset and I can show the progress. And then, you know, two more areas, change management work. We wanted to bring that out because I think it's so relevant in today's world. Again, in change management, everybody knows now there is some understanding that, you know, it comes down to psychological factors. It comes down to how people react to change. But again, how do you influence mindsets so that it's more accepting to change or is more willing to work with you as you are trying to bring along a team? Similar with OD consulting, you know, when you're, when you're trying to move the organization to, uh, as a whole to a new, a new state or a new space, like uh, again, mm -hmm. moving through transition or dealing with crisis or even growing. Um, a lot of it is about, it's, it's not just about actions, it's about mindset. And uh, one of the things that we'll be also sharing about a little bit later is uh, we're working on some um, B2B versions where you would be able to have, uh, being able to use the mindset map with, uh, with teams. Right, so then, you know, just a quick mention that when we ask our friends in our coach faculty and, you know, we, we have um, now 26 people globally already certified and they're in various countries from Russia to the U.S. to Spain, Germany, France, Italy, um, the Netherlands, you know, Latin America. And, um, you know, it's a community. We do best practice sharing. We do have an ongoing supervision program right. where we meet monthly and we share case studies. And um, Robert, do you want to say four, four and five? <laughs> <laughs> just, that, just that. Well, we're, you know, uh, this is uh, it's something that we're continuing to develop. Uh, like he was saying, it's a, it's related to uh, the, this SFM brand. Uh, but but mindset maps is its own brand, and you know we are a big part of what we do, especially when when somebody joins for uh, when a client joins as a premium member, is they uh, we give them a coach referral, so there was also be business referrals. So you know one of the differences is that mindset maps as a organization is intending to face towards the customers directly as well. So we, we intend to significantly invest into finding roads into the business community, you know, talking to companies, talking to entrepreneurs, and then attract them to do the inventory and then attract them to you. So I think it's, a, it's not just this time, it's you know, not just um, 
a coach institute that we are talking about. We are really talking about bringing this tool into the business world, which is our yeah. vision. Yeah, Mickey and I have been working on a, a, a global marketing plan that we'll be sharing with our coaches also a little bit later. So, yeah. so these are some questions that we know. I mean, this is what our, our goal for this uh, live event here is. What questions of, well, so, you know, what are some of the questions? And one of the first ones is that since I was just mentioning the, the SFM brand and that um, Mindset Maps has appeared in the, a couple of the SFM books, in particular, the uh, Conscious Leadership book, um, but you know, so one question is, well, how is it different than SFM? And certainly, this uh, the mindset map draws from distinctions in SFM and relates to, for example, uh, aspects of the circle of success. Uh, but it it really is its own. Uh, it's it's a it's a complementary process and a complementary model. So it works well with SFM. And in fact, part of what we'll do in the coach training is we go, we go in depth with how exactly the mindset map uh, connects to various distinctions, uh, especially in the circle of success. And you, know, you could ask the same question, how is it different from generative coaching? And again, the idea is that generative coaching is a way of coaching people. It's, it's a methodology on its own. And generative coaching, you know, people are sometimes, your customers are sometimes susceptible to it. Sometimes they find it hard to understand because the point is it does magic, but how do you prove it? So I actually, again, think that, you know, this is a tool that proves that if you are a generative coach, that you can do magic and you can, you can, you don't have to get into, you don't have to convert the person up front. You can say to them, look, you know, take this inventory. And the inventory already is going to give you a very clear starting point. And that starting point is going to include a lot of things which we use in SFM and in generative coaching. It will talk about purpose and mission and vision and ambition, but it does it so that it's, it's kind of like in very simple terms. So someone who hasn't been through an SFM training, who hasn't been to a generative coaching session, which is probably most of our clients, right? You're not selling to, unfortunately, yet uh, to generative coaching graduates, but we are selling to the business world. So again, this is a really nice complementary thing to make the intangible more tangible. We do have uh, uh, in in the generative, or sorry, in the mindset map, we we do have what we call the coach plus model, which is our um, six steps, our own six steps of um, how we use the mindset map. Um, and once again, if somebody is a generative coach, this is really an excellent, you know, uh, tool to help them, especially extend into the business world. One of the big questions I often get when we do generative coaching training is, how do we use this with people in business? And actually, Mindset Maps is a great answer to that. You know, there was one other question, which is, you know, someone said, yeah, I understand this is a certification, but what, what's after that? And, you know, our answer to that is that, it's a certification so that you can start using this tool in your practice, whatever your practice is. And then um, as a coach or as a leader, right? Or as a consultant. And then what we believe is going to happen is, you know, we are going to introduce the B2B version as Robert mentioned, which is specifically for organizations. And once that happens, um, then, um, we are going to have a B2B um, training as well. If you come, come in, can you please put yourself uh, on, on mute? Thanks so much. Yeah. And um, we also plan to have um, a master coach level, which is going to be something that's probably going to happen a year from now. So not this year. Okay. And then another question that we're, we've gotten, and I know we'll, we're also gonna take some questions from you as well, but uh, these, some of these hopefully might anticipate some of your questions, but there's, uh, in terms of the coach training, are there evaluations? Um, are there only Zoom presentations, uh, you know, and a training to follow? And at the end of the training, we have a certification. And um, yeah, so we, so part of what we're doing uh, this time is we're doing a little bit of a blended um, 
version of the training. It is obviously online. Some parts of it you will be able to watch on your own from previous recorded presentations and also previously recorded demos. But what we will be doing uh, during the actual live, you know, online class time is we'll be, you know, taking questions and, and mostly focusing on cases and demos. Right. Um, so as, as you've seen, actually, I'm going to switch over to this one here just for a moment, um, because this one has the sort of when investment uh, column, but it's got five modules. The first module is going through the five key entrepreneurial goals and the connecting successful mindsets. And that's, again, something, as Robert said, that you can watch online. Then we have module two, module three, um, module four, and module five. Module two is going to be focused on the coach plus process, which is sort of the proprietary mindset maps coach process. And here, you know, you, you're going to be able to watch again some theory recordings and some demo recordings. And when we get together, you know, we are going to summarize the theory again and do some live uh, demo coachings with participants. We're going to be doing breakout rooms where you're going to be able to practice what you have seen and what you have, what you, what you have seen on the video as well. And we're going to be doing Q&A. Then module three is going to be what we mentioned, the SFM. Yeah sort of the deeper dive into the SFM and in particular, the circle of success and um, how, again, how we can map between the mindset map and the circle of success. And, and I think it, it, that one gives us a, a really, uh, really uh, enriched understanding of the mindset map and how it, how it can be used. And then, you know, the module four is based on the idea that there are 49 NLP based tools, coaching tools that are part of the system. And again, the beauty of it is that let's say you're an entrepreneur and you identify a gap around, you know, lacking your vision and, and sense of direction, you will be recommended some tools that you can have access to. But quite frankly, you know, if you don't have um, an NLP master practitioner, you will find it very interesting, but you will probably say, I need a coach. And that's when, you know, we're going to be able to connect that person with one of you coaches, one of our certificate certified coaches um, in, in the um, in the faculty. So I would, I would also yeah. just say one other thing, too, which is that you know, a tool is a tool, but we all know that uh, that sometimes it's you need to have it's, it's different trying to use the tool on your own than co using it with a coach. I actually was just doing a program this last weekend with a big group in China and one of the persons there, you know, was, was very advanced, you know, like a master practitioner or anything, but still having the coaching experience was important. And one of his big learnings from this, from the process was, yeah, there are times when I need a coach, even though I know all the tools, it, no, knowing the tool is not what is, ne is needed. And I think that's a, another important part of what we're doing in this module four. Yeah. And then module five is, is really going to be, you know, between sort of module four and five, the rubber hits the road and, and you're going to be doing some live coaching sessions with some uh, friendly customers, clients. Sometimes they, you know, they can be family members, but, you know, we would welcome real clients if you're comfortable. And then you come back to the supervision module number five, where you're going to be doing live coaches in triads. We're going to have some people who are going to be resourcing with us. So those are coaches from the previous faculty. And so they will be participating in the uh, breakout groups as well. So pretty much most of the time, you will have the benefit of having someone else with you as well, kind of a third person to shadow the work that you're doing and getting some work. I mean, feedback. Which, which I think is, is big because sometimes what happens in the breakout rooms is that you're kind of left alone and, and not this time and not in this place. Um, so that's, that's sort of an overview. And I think I'm gonna put up this final slide here and then you know, let's go to questions. Um, this is just you know, sort of a, a summary of the overall value that you get that 
you know, you not only you were participating in, in, in these five um, modules, but you were also getting a copy of the generative consulting book, which is written by Robert, myself, and other members of the SFM leadership team. You will have access to the coach backend after this, which is basically your admin panel where you will be able to see all your users or your coaches that have used your coach code and you will have access to their results. Um, that's $400 of value and you, you get that free of charge as part of the uh, package here. You also get your own premium report. So what you've seen on the site, if you've taken it, some of you I know Albana is here, she, she has already seen the premium report, but the premium report is, is like a 30 page, way more uh, in depth analysis of the mindset. So that's part of the package. And then finally, I let Robert say. <laughs> <laughs> the copy of no, the, the uh, coaching workbook. So we put together a, a workbook um, that has all of the 49 tools and how to, right. again, it's a, it, it's a workbook that you could even use on its own, but it's really, uh, I think, very powerful to supplement uh, what you're doing on the on the online inventory. So it gives you, you know, a printout and and bit and goes more in um, in depth in you know diff, di in explaining um, what the different evaluations are about. Yeah. So so in a bird's view, that's what we are um, talking about. And, and I think I wanted to yeah, sort of go to a, a gallery view here and, 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 and let everybody ask questions. We, we actually do have one person here, um, Massimiliano Tavolacci, welcome from, from Italy. And, and he has already gone through this, so he can contradict us <laughs> or confirm <laughs> or confirm. Um, <laughs> much more, much more. <laughs> so you know yeah. he, he's available as well um and and we are available what 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 kind of questions do you have yeah so we wanted to we we sort of anticipated a few but we're wondering if there's any others that you might have specifically you can either either raise your hand or you know mechanically raise your hand or put them in the chat however yeah. it works easiest for you yeah there I, I see actually that there are already some questions in here ah are there some in the um, chat which says, um, who is certified from Germany? Um, actually, at the moment, we have somebody who is a business leader from Germany. And, um, and so, but he's not in the coaching profession. And we do have somebody uh, who signed up for this year's, uh, but to be honest, no, nobody yet. Um, between those two, they, they will be the first, and whoever else. So you could be, you could also be the first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that was the one. Uh, that was the one question I saw here, and Ab Ab Abana pointed out Gudrun. that the report is fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> Good yeah. 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 You already assumed that it was me. Uh, so. <laughs> Um, so no, you just mentioned uh, that there is someone from Germany. Uh, so that, that's why it was my reflection. And I wanted to know how do you, how will you market this uh, tool so that people get to know to it? Yeah, yeah that's a that's a great question. Like, and that's what I was saying. Yeah, we we're we're putting together our marketing plan. We're you know we're going to have a obviously we're going to be using uh, so a couple of things. Number one is we've already written about it in the generative consulting book. So it's going to get out there. We, have, of course, are going to be making announcements to our uh, through our social media. Uh, so I've got, you know, my LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Um, but we are planning to, you know, we, we will be uh, bringing this into various conferences. Uh, Mickey and I are going to be presenting about this at the um, ANLP conference in April. Also, we'll be bringing it to the IAGC conference, etc. So, this is one of the other things that we're planning to do. Also, we are you know, we'll we are uh, we'll be kind of continuing to do various you know live promotional events, especially as we get you know the B two B version ready and stuff like that. So, we do we are. We're definitely working on a, 
on a global marketing plan. And to, to mention one more thing, I think which is important, we are also establishing partnerships for various geographies. Um, those are kind of the next sort of logical step in the process. And we are, we are in the process of establishing it for two countries, two languages at the moment. Um, it looks like Italy and France will be the first. <laughs> and um, yeah, and um, you, you know, the idea of the partnership mm -hmm. is to be able to create sort of a strategic partnership with an entity that is then mm -hmm. working on the local language availability of the inventory, mm -hmm. um, the co you know, probably to create a coach faculty for that geography, because mm -hmm. a lot of the people, so we understand that, you know, Germans, French, and Italians, they all think they're one of a kind and they are. And, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm a Hungarian American, I'm one of a kind. So, so the, the idea is that we will need to create local supervisor supervision groups, mm -hmm. local programs. We might in some cases need to adjust um, certain things in the inventory so that it speaks to the local culture. Mm -hmm. So the partnerships are another major idea for marketing and, and, and working together mm -hmm. in a win-win uh, setup. Okay. Any other, uh, does that, do you have any particular questions, Gudrun, about the marketing that you might? No, I was just thinking about going beyond our own world of you know, NLP, SFM, and generative coaching, but really yeah. to make it, uh, to, uh, to make it available to really to business community, to make, maybe to accelerators, to, uh, so, so I thought that maybe, Mickey, you have some, some connection or something to this real business world. <laughs> yeah, so mm. one of the directions, if you think about this mm. product, mm. you can identify mm. different directions. So there is mm. something what we call the B2B direction. Then mm. there's something which we would maybe call the B2C direction. Mm. And then there's mm. a third, which we would call sort of the professionals using this because they are mm. supporting leaders and businesses. So the B2B mm. side of things is mm. a next evolutionary step because we need to make a few adjustments um, mm. to include leadership practices into the tool and that's planned mm. for this year. And then what, mm. we wanna, what we wanna do is both Robert and I have a lot of connections to major big multinational companies and mm -hmm. we would like to take it to them, but we need mm -hmm. to be 100% ready. So that, that's sort of mm -hmm. planned for the okay. second, third quarter of this year. Mm -hmm. Then what I call the B2C level, that, you know, that would be any individuals who are choosing to use this, and they may be entrepreneurs or leaders. So we are going to target them through events, um, hopefully face-to-face -face events if the world allows. But until then, with, with a lot of social media and, and other ways, um, we do want mm -hmm. to publicize a lot about, you know, the mindset maps. I do have mm -hmm. some uh, ongoing publications in Psychology Today and Forbes. And so, mm -hmm. so we, we want to mm -hmm. capitalize on that. Forbes is mm -hmm. an interesting business um, place to be. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we also want to build the professional community. Mm -hmm. And that's primarily done through these trainings, but also, mm -hmm. you know, through the partnerships. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, I would I wait until someone else has a question. Okay. Can I ask? Yeah, so I see that Danielle uh, has a question. About, is it in French? Uh, and we were saying not. It, it's currently being, we're working with a French partner to get that uh, translated into French, Danielle. So it isn't right now, but it will be. Yeah. Uh, Maro, I think you had your... Oh, hi, Roman. Hi, Mickey. Yes, I hi. have a practical question. Uh, I think I didn't get... Will there be practical example and demos in the two hours? And uh, what, uh, what are the two hours pre-training on your own? I saw that there were before every webinar, uh, you have uh, before every training, you have two hours on your own. What do you do in those two hours? <laughs> So, so I was uh, explaining a little bit before. So what we've done is we have recorded uh, from previous, the previous coach training, 
the presentation so that you can watch that presentation on your own. So, because we want to try to maximize our time, you know, with, with the, you know, with the participants. So the presentation part of what we would be doing, like when we present the, the, the coach plus model, or we present something relating to the circle of success, that part is pre-recorded and you can watch that at your leisure so that when we are all together on the, on the zoom, we're focusing on doing case studies, uh, demos, and then, and, and, you know, Q and A. Okay. Thanks. So it is pre-recorded and you can, you can watch it, not necessarily the two hours before the workshop, anytime. No, that you, you can watch want. it anytime. Oh, okay. Anytime. Sorry. Okay. That's fine. Thanks. Yeah. And, and that's exactly done to sort of make everything more effective because the actual, if you hear the theory for the very first time, it takes a lot of, you know, a lot of time. So what we want to do is you will be able to hear the theory first, think about it, come to the session already with some questions. With your questions. Can, yeah. And we can really focus on answering the questions and do live demos where, you know, we will be doing demos with you if you volunteer. And, um, <laughs> and, and then there will be practice of what people have seen of the demo in the um, breakout groups. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. I see um, Doktam has joined as well. Hello, Toki. Hey, welcome. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we had some issues on, on, on YouTube, unfortunately, but I will upload something there so it will be available. Um, I don't know if you have more specific questions, anyone? Yeah, uh, to be very concrete, I have a conversation with, a, with an investor and she's an integral investor. Maybe you have heard about her from Akel Group, uh, Mariana Bosesan. Mm -hmm. And she is asking uh, for assessments for entrepreneurs to make to ensure that they are really have this holistic approach and they really uh, think world centric. And so she asked me, do you have something or what is your kind of ass assessment? And in this moment, your offer came in and I'm not really sure if this would fit completely to what she is expecting or um but yeah but I have... yeah it's a good question yeah. i mean it depends mm -hmm. certainly certainly mm -hmm. as you know the the sfm work is intended to be you know yeah. holistic and yeah you know, sure. so this, we we use that term of you know integrating ego and soul and all of that whether that whether all of the questions fit exactly what she would be looking for is a, you know another issue if we knew, uh, I, I'd be able to say a little bit more if I could see what um, kinds of things that, that they yeah. work with or, or look for in integral assessment. But in, in, in general, you know, we, we, we have seen that there are some organizations in the world like conscious capitalism, uh, where they talk about sustainability as, as a criteria or B Corp. So these are sort of more Anglo-Saxon examples but in, in general, I think this approach is literally on target for what they're looking for because the whole mindset map was created through research and modeling with people who are themselves also conscious entrepreneurs who care for sustainability, who care for you know, environment, who care for, who consider their team as another stakeholder and they just don't, they don't just believe that their um, businesses are there to make profit, but they also want to make an impact on the world. So actually, if someone goes through this assessment, it allows you to realize what is the holistic view and what elements you are missing. So it could actually be just by hearing it for the first time, a really good match, but we would have to understand what is the definition, as, as Robert said, yeah. Anyone else have any specific, nice, concrete questions <laughs> like that? <laughs> okay. Maybe what, what we could do if, if I, I don't see a hand up. Um, 
Yeah. I do have a question. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, I joined late. I had to be in another meeting. So uh, what is my question is, um, I want to work more with corporate, like become a more corporate trainer. So yeah. I was wondering, because uh, I have been in success factor modeling since 2015, then next year we had like three days workshop about that in 2016. And then again, I was able to meet Miki uh, in 2018, the seminar we had in Santa Cruz. So right. then, and I got the chance to get the premium uh, report uh, yesterday to just review. It was a great, great uh, report. Good job to put all the information together. But I was just wondering how this certificate may help me to become a better um, corporate trainer or do stuff for the companies. Yeah, well, because it, all of the um, all of the applications. So so as when we when we do the. Um, when we do the practices, we use cases, which of course are corporate cases. Uh, our demos are for you know working with, you know, uh, applying um, the mindset map to, you know, uh, specifically to building a venture or a business. Um, and you know, I think also we well, it's a little bit like we were mentioning. I think before you came on, talk Tom, that um, you have these you have these 49 tools, but the tools themselves, especially for somebody who doesn't know anything about NLP or SFM, they can't really use it themselves. So actually you, you get uh, work and practice really bringing these 49 different tools into business context. So that would be- And every example way. we'll be sharing will be a corporate example. So, you know, it will always be an entrepreneur in you know like a smaller company or a mid-sized company or a large size company so basically the focus of the training is pretty much since you know the mindset maps tools is intended for leaders and entrepreneurs our whole focus is on the corporate sector and you get the chance you know in terms of your questions you can also direct those questions to that direction but i think that's Pretty much what the training is about. So, um, Mickey, I did, did we cover all? I think there was one slide. That I'm not sure if there was still any questions left on that one slide that might also be useful because we kind of went uh, ahead, and I maybe think, we could look at that. I think we we pretty much did we cover them all? Yeah, cover them. Um, yeah, because we had. You know this slide but if you go back two slides yeah this we, one, we this, had the questions because we have this if i can't be present uh, to one mm -hmm. or more modules can i see the recording session mm -hmm. um so so i think th those are that was one that we didn't really address quite yet yeah yeah so to that point you know it is your interest to be in all of the sessions so we recommend it if you can't be present in one session out of the four which are live because one is kind of pre-recorded entirely um, that's okay with us as long as you watch the um, recording afterwards we are also going to record these particular two-hour sessions every time and you will get you know any slides and and the recording and our intention is um, that you know we have resource people so we're going to have some study groups between the modules where you can work with somebody and ask some questions so yeah. that's I, yeah, I think that's important to bring up that we are you know we have from our our uh, last uh coaching certification group people who are going to be there as our resource team and they will be available to help you know people with questions between sessions and we'll probably do some study groups as well so uh, we also, uh, you know, in our last program, uh, Antonio Mesa did graphic facilitation. So we'll also have that graphic facilitation available. So when you sign up for the course, you get, uh, we're, we're planning to use a Trello site. And on that Trello site, all of the recordings, all, you know, the, the workbook materials, uh, the graphic facilitation, you know, um, all of the different, 
pieces that you need will will be there and be available throughout the whole program. Yeah. So I think. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. So will there be also a forum where we can exchange? Um, meanwhile, the planning oh, yeah. is ongoing. Yes, mm -hmm. that's another mm -hmm. thing that we have. Mm -hmm. um, we have a. Uh, we're currently using a WhatsApp, and we'll mm -hmm. start a, a WhatsApp group just with that, you'll, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to join in with your own mm -hmm. your own cohort, but also mm -hmm. with the larger mm -hmm. um, mindset map coach faculty. Mm -hmm. Eventually, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um, um, yeah, another one, Gudrun, please. Yeah, yeah another one, because. This is four questions. This is four questions. <laughs> so we like questions. <laughs> yeah, so, and um, so when I send someone of my customers uh, to get uh, such a report, from the website, or how how should this be um, be um, administered? How right. So, yeah, how yeah. is this from the administrative side that it is my uh, coaching client? Yeah. Or? So, yeah, maybe mm -hmm. maybe you can explain that. This is what we're calling yeah. the back end. So yeah. you get mm -hmm. access okay. to special okay. access to this back end. Mm -hmm. Okay. And mm -hmm. go ahead, Mickey. You can. Yeah. So th there there are really mm -hmm. two ways of doing it. Mm -hmm. The way it's set up now is that mm -hmm. when a user does the inventory, mm -hmm. they can input their coach code. So if you give them your ah, coach okay. code, mm -hmm. right, you're yeah. going to be able to see and view their results. And then they can either pay through the website, um, which is sort of a simple way of you know paying for the report, or you know you could also, as a coach, buy let's say. 20 reports in bulk from us. And then you tell us, I want to give it to him and him and you know, then we allocate those. So some people prefer it this way because they want to build it into their pricing. Others say, you know, I don't want to have anything to do with it. Like let, let them pay through the site. So both are available. There's and then you have the backend uh, where you have all the results and all the reports and you can look at it and work with your client. And what happens when they become a member? So the difference between the member and you know the premium report on its own is that as a member, you get to take six times the report. So the membership is, is actually intended for somebody who is working on something bigger and wants to see the progress. And also you get the access to the five key entrepreneurial mindset webinars, which is, you know, again, as an entrepreneur, you know, there are five key objectives in the system. One is increasing my satisfaction in my work. Another is, you know, creating a more meaningful contribution through my business. Or another one is, you know, becoming profitable, being, you know, financially, you know, robust. Another is being more innovative and resilient or and scale the business. Scary. So there are those five goals. And for each goal, there's a particular mindset that best supports that based on our modeling and research. So those five webinars, if I'm an entrepreneur or leader, you know, I want to get, I want to get the membership because I'm interested in all five mindsets, not just one mindset. And I want to be able to track my progress. So I want more than one premium report. So I should become then uh, for six months, I can become a member. And our idea is that members will be getting content, videos, other articles that you know other people don't. So, so that's the membership idea. And also part of the professional membership is a 20 minute exploratory session with one of the coach faculty. So that can be, that, that's one of the ways that we would also be um, you know, uh, connecting our coach faculty with potential clients. So the membership, it's, it's actually a really good question, Godrun, thank you, because some people have, I heard it from the coaches. So the membership is not really intended for a coach, a mindset map coach. It's more intended for a business person. Um, or if you as a coach, you are working on your own venture and you're sort of you coaching yourself, then this is for you. But it's primarily for the customer, oh, the end customer, the coachee, and not in, uh, so it's, it's a different sort of box or place than the coach, the certified coach community. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Maybe one one last question to Max. Ma Massimiliano, Massimiliano. Do, do you want to um, say something in terms of, I'm, I'm just curious and we didn't rehearse this. <laughs> so um, in terms of your experience in this course, uh, what, would, what would you highlight one thing that, that was very special to you or, or that gave you a different sort of experience than other places? Yeah, what, what would you say I is think, the is benefit? I, I, yeah. I think that the community of coaches, when uh, we're learning in month together, we learn uh, uh, viewing something different in, in different culture. So as a, a better, stronger uh, mode to, to learn. Uh, and, and I feel the community is a very, very strong uh, and deep uh, work with, the, with people. I, I can confirm me with the Italian, but uh, with other in Russia and, uh, and in America Latina and uh, in Jordan. So it's so different and, and we feel something that is unique for us. So the, the community is a added value, very, very great. And I would also mention, by the way, that regarding Massimiliano, that him and two other Italian coaches decided to become, you know, partner up and be, you know, the partner for Mindset Maps International. And they have not met before. I, 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 is, that, is that correct? You, you guys met here. That is correct. It's correct. Yeah. We never met before. And after this experience, we, we work together uh, very well in, in just a, a few time. We have uh, decided to be partner of Mindset Map International, working together with the three wow. Italians that have made uh, this experience. And for if it's Mauro can. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I think I think that's 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 pretty significant. I mean, so yeah. not only globally but also you know locally things happen and you might start a new venture as a result of this work and that's exactly what we would love to see so yeah so well we hope that that uh gives you some insight into that uh, again our for us um this has been a very interesting journey ourselves and uh, it's been in some ways quite quite surprising how useful and how powerful the mindset map distinctions can be to help uh, help clients and also to help ourselves. I mean, it's uh, it's always interesting for me to, to take that that inventory because you know depending upon where I want to focus, some sometimes a very important nuance will come out and sometimes something that's really obvious but's been a blind spot. So um, it's really a it's really a useful way to work with other people. We, we that's one of the things that we found that our our uh, coach faculty has said is that it's really a a great way to you know really connect more deeply with clients. And then you know I kind of you were asking me before Gudrun about the business and and the fact that I'm a business guy and so let me be the business guy and say that quite a few people here said well my business doubled. Well, you know, I never had a website. I, I didn't think it was important because I thought that, you know, it's all about purpose and mission. And as a result of this course, I, I made some changes and, you know, it, it, it really changed my business. So, you know, for us to hear something like that, I mean, that's music to our ears as well. <laughs> so, so there's that effect as well, hopefully. So if, you, you know, I think it kind of brings us to the end here. Um, yeah, thank you for... Thank you for being for, here. For being here, for taking your time. Uh, and I, I see that uh, Kevin is also saying that the inventory also shows me the shifts that I uh, have achieved uh, in, the, in the process from the first one and, and before taking the training. So thank you for sharing that. So feel free to you know, reach out to, to me at um, office at mindsetmaps.com and also, um, you know, if you go on our website, which is mindsetmapsinternational.com slash events, that's, that's the registry page. Um, we would love to see you there and hopefully yes. this was interesting and beneficial and worth your while.
night. So thank you all for joining. Have a great thank you rest very of your, much. Have a great rest of your evening for many of you. <laughs> yeah, and Toki and you. Albana are already in, in the group. So we'll be, you will be hearing a lot from me and Robert. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, Take hopefully care, see everyone else there too. Take care. Okay. Take Bye. care. Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye. 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 See you. Ciao. Bye, everybody. Ciao. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, and thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye-bye.